onion. Beautiful, beautiful piece of pork. Let me shower it with more vinegar. Beef blood in the house with the goto. These are big pieces of meat. Just look at that beauty. Welcome to Foodie Mama PH, Kiliancha here. We're still here in Marikina City. In my opinion, one of the underrated food spots in the metro. I feel like there's still so much more that you have not seen or tried. There's some classic tapsilog that we're gonna try along with the maybe unheard or underrated gotohan and a famous putuhan that I've been patronizing for years. And there's gonna be a lot more food to come, so let's go have some Marikina food trip. So we've come to this place called Rodix. They're famous for their Carabao beef tapsilog, which is rarely served in any parts of the Philippines. They started in, uh, I believe in UP Diliman. It's very flavorful. It's my go-to spot for breakfast. My typical order, gotta get the tapsilog and caldereta. Ate, pa-order po ng isang tapsilog? Tapsilog for dining to ma. Dining po, tapos isang caldereta. 280 ma, isang top silog, isang beef caldereta for dining po. Yes. I received 500 po. 220 ma, number 76 na lang. tasting time. Let me try the caldereta first. As you can see, these are huge chunks of beef with potato and carrot. Then look how just thick this gravy is. Let's put some on top of my rice. Carrot, potato, beef, rice. Cheers. My potato fell down. Mm. Follow that with rice. Mm, never gets old. So good. So before I actually taste the tapsilog, I just wanted to share to my audience who are not Filipinos or Filipinos but they have not tried it yet. So tapsilog is basically tapa, sinangat, at itlog. So it's always a combo. First syllable, you can replace it with other types of meat. It always goes with silog, which is sinangat or fried rice. And itlog, it's breakfast food but there are establishments serving them all day you know who wouldn't love breakfast for dinner yeah if you have not tried any silog meals before I highly recommend please do try wherever you encounter one anywhere in the Philippines let's try the top silog which is what I came here for as you can see these are the carabao beef I'm not sure if they're grounded or flaked and then pounded because it looks very fine. Let's try it just the tapa, garlic rice, and the egg. Mm. That is so good. You have that sweet, flavorful marinade of the tapa. It's not completely lean. The sweetness of the tapa complements the savoriness and saltiness of the garlic rice, plus the creaminess of the egg. That is the perfect bite. It's straight up comfort food. This is the real deal. Everybody eats this. And it's a variation on a typical tapsilog that you can get here in Manila. So if you're gonna come here, you gotta try it. This time, we're gonna put some more flavor. Drizzle some of the vinegar on top of the rice, and it makes a huge difference. I'm so happy right now. It just completes everything. The more you chew on the meat, the more you get the flavor. Beautiful contrast of sourness from the vinegar. It just brings everything together. Mm, I'm definitely home. Now it's the time for mixing. Normally, if we have leftover caldereta at home, we would have it with garlic fried rice the next day. So I'm gonna do it right now. Caldereta, garlic rice with some vinegar. Look at that beautiful color. Mm. 
If you have not tried Caldereta with a splash of vinegar, please do. Let me know how you feel. So, so good. Now's the time for some private moments with my food, so I'll see you in a bit. I have a spot in mind for the next food trip. I just need a tricycle, I'm waiting for a tricycle. It's mostly jeepneys coming here. If you see a jeepney, go try it at least once. Enough talking. I'll wait for my tricycle. You're going to someone's garage when you turn right you will see this bench right here and then there's a sink right there a few more tables inside it's very spacious their menu is quite small they mainly serve goto and tokwat baboy no po isa pong goto tokwat baboy isang goto isang tokwat baboy dine in dine in pa okay Thank you. Thank you. Gano po katagal niluluto yung goto? 30 minutes. 30 minutes lang? Uh, tapos tapos hey, na to? Hindi kasi, ginigisa na yan. Ah. Oh. Ang pagsasabaw, mm -hmm. 30 minutes. Pero, ginigisa pa yun. Okay. Iinaano na namin yun dun sa bahay. Tapos yung pampalasa po nung pinakagoto? Sabaw. Sabaw ng baka. Baka talaga. Nagpapaklo kami ng mga buto. <laughs> Mm. At saka yung laman na pinakuluan namin. So may mga laman-laman na kasama na doon sa goto, ano? Separated. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh. So ito po, dugo ba ito? Oh, ah, may kasama talaga dito. Oh, kung gusto. Mm, apo. Oh, oh. Tapos ito yung laman na pinakuluan. Oh, oh. So ito yung mga pinakuluang baka. Oh. Ano po ito? Lechong kawali? Lechong kawali po. Paano nyo po yun ginagawa? Nilalaga mo na. Nilalaga mo na. Sweet mm. potato. Titimplahan mo na lang may asin. Yun lang, asin lang. Uh, tas, oh, wala, wala nang kailangan. Wala nang kailangan. May lasa na yun. Gano'ng katagal yung luto nyo? Mga may isang oras yan eh. Lalaga ko pa eh. Laga ng isang oras. Isang oras. Tapos yung prito? Mga ano lang. 10 minutes. Luto 10 minutes, na. okay na. Ito sa lambot to. Ito malapot siya. Wow. Alright, so we're here at Goto Garage. I think this spot only locals would know. It's quite hidden and unassuming and Goto is quite famous here in Marikina. You will see it in every corner. There are the famous ones. I've featured the Goto Bab already. Soon I will feature Maki's Goto, which is also classic. So Goto is the dish. Garage is like the parking. It's really just a quick meal you can have. Whether it's sunny, better if it's rainy. I just want to share with you this spot. It's very local to Marikina and I feel like it's an underrated spot here. So these are the rice grains. They're very long, quite unusual to what you will see in Goto. The broth is quite beefy and it's not too clear because of the color from the beef that it's been boiled with. It's topped with the spring onions, fried garlic. I especially requested for dugo, which is blood. So this is beef blood. Just to compare with Goto Babs, which is very gloopy and sticky, you can see the soup disintegrating from the rice easily. Let's get the soup first oh you can really taste the ginger in there which is very very comforting it slides through with a little bit of you know the ginger heat and I love it it's just very mild maybe it's been three or four years since I last had goto here these are big pieces of meat it's going to be a mouthful just look at that beauty oh my goodness mm -hmm. oh my goodness gracious that is so meaty, tender, fatty, and flavorful. And I love the crunch from the green onions. Let's try the blood cake. Beef blood in the house with the goto. Mmm. 
the amazing thing about blood when you cook it just right it's this very soft silky i would say like a medium silky tofu then it just disintegrates in your mouth and you taste the natural sweetness of the blood when it's cooked right and it's just so good Ah, oh, up. What I grew up eating is not the lechon kawali kind. It's just like fried up pork pieces. But this, and typically in Marikina, it's the lechon kawali, which is similar to the roast pork in Singapore and Malaysia. So you can see the cross section here of this beautiful, beautiful piece of pork. Look at that chunky piece of pork. Let me shower it with more vinegar. Cheers. Mmm. You can feel that softness because they boiled it first for an hour. The skin fried to a crisp. The fat has been rendered. It's just a beautiful burst of flavor. Say that with goto. Let me share with you my curiosity and confusion. The gota that I grew up eating, specifically in Mekawai and Bulacan, whenever I go to a lugawan, when you say lugaw, it's just the plain porridge itself. When you say goto, it's the lugaw mixed with beef or pork tripe. When I moved here in Marikina, most of the gotos, if not all, are stewed with beef. There's no tripe at all. That's the main difference. Let me know, guys. Those who grew up in Marikina and those who grew up in Bulacan, it could be different in other parts of Bulacan. I only grew up in Mekawai and I'm still confused, but... Let me get some tofu. So this one has been drowning in vinegar already, as you can see. That's what I'm looking for. Put it on my goto. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mix it with the blood. Mmm. Just keep repeating the process and you're in for a comforting meal. Mmm. Tokwat babui for the win. I love it when the vinegar is already mixed up in the goto. Mmm. So soft. Mm. I suddenly forgot my diet. The vinegar is perfectly seasoned. You don't get this mix of vinegar when you mix it fresh. Man, this is the real deal. You don't taste a particular sourness or sweetness. It's all blended together. So it's sweet and sour and salty, peppery. And that's what I love about going to Luga Wans because they all have their version of this vinegar blend. You also gotta cook the tofu right because you gotta have that very spongy texture for it to really soak up all the goodness. They should change their name here. Must be Go to Heaven. Mm. So brown setup. If you guys have not tried Kotogara, please do. You should not miss this when you come to Marikina. Thank you. Salamat. Paano nyo nga po ginawa ito nga? Ayan, nagpakulo ako. Tapos nilagay ko yung saging hanggang maluto na. Hanggang pumula na siya, luto na siya. Oh. 30 minutes ulit bago siya maluto. Asukal saka tubig? Tubig. Tapos saging, yun lang. Yun lang po. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, as Kuya said, he's the one who prepared the banana conyelo as well. It's basically a saba banana cooked with sugar. And you top it up with ice. What I grew up eating, they would normally add milk to it. Let's melt the ice even more because this has been piping hot. This is how big the banana is. Mmm, super soft and moist. It's not too sweet, which I like. Follow it with the syrup. Oh, it's very like cooling because it's a hot sunny morning in Marikina right now. Mmm, so juicy. This is the perfect way to end your goto meal. Oh my goodness, my diet is gone. I'm about to come out of this garage with a very happy and full tummy. But now, I'll show you the spot to buy your pasalubong from Marikina. Hello po. Ano yung pinakamaliit na puto dito? Ito po. Ano pinagkaiba ng mga kulay-kulay? Flavor po siya, ube. Tapos yung puti? Ah, mas matabang lang siya dito sa original. Ito po si original. Matamis. Bakit siya kulay brown? Putong pulo. Pero ano ginamit para maging kulay siya na brown? Brown sugar po. Brown sugar. So brown sugar yung white white sugar, ganun? Tapos. Oh? Tapos sa ube, anong sugar yung gamit? Ganun din po. Kasa, ayan po kasi may flavor. I mean, is it white sugar or ano? Brown sugar? Yung brown gamit sa ube. Po. Brown din. Okay. Sige. Magkano yung uh, mix ng tatlo? 
120. 40 pieces. Isa nga po ako ng mix. Salamat po. Thank you po. Alright, so I got here the famous Aling Remis Puto. It's been a while. Look at this beautiful color. I have here the white with the queso, the purple, the famous brown puto. Let's try the white puto. Mm, it's the classic puto that you will get anywhere else in the Philippines. And it's either plain or with cheese or salted egg. And then the trendiest flavor, ube. This is ube with cheese. Mm. You can taste that ube in there. I love that it's not too sweet as well. I love the size of these putos. You can just pop them in your mouth. It can get very heavy, especially if you're having a Filipino gathering and you have those big putos. So these are like perfect bite-sized pieces. Last but not the least is the famous brown puto of Aling Remis. Ate mentioned earlier, they're using brown sugar on this, so let's try it. Mm. You can really taste the difference when you use brown sugar compared to white sugar. The flavor of the puto is still the same. Since the day that I had my first bite of this puto from Aling Remis. If you're in Marikina, again, highly recommend it to stop over. You can choose whichever pasalubong you want. Everything is pretty much in here. Just buy one and bring home. So I think I'm ending the video here. We started with a classic Tapsilog breakfast from Rodix. Then we went to Goto Garaje, which is to me the underrated Gotohan in Marikina. And now 100% full from Aling Remis Gotohan. I'm walking home with a happy tummy. This video is full of my recommendations as a local here in Marikina. So please, please do come by here. Let me know. You can message me on Instagram, on Facebook. I'd love to show you around here in Marikina. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Until we meet again, here in the Philippines. Bye!